MG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you with this week's rebate haul. So I'm outside of Walmart right now. If you are new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. So if you're unfamiliar with how to use any of the rebate apps, I have tutorials for everything I use today other than I don't have a tutorial on my points, uh, but I do on Swagbucks. Swagbucks, they shut me down. So <laughs> it's all my points, Swagbucks, Ta-da! In Inbox Dollars, they're all basically the same app. Um, they just look a little bit different, but they work the same way. So my referral codes are all listed down in the description box as well. If you're not sure how to use one of the apps, check out the tutorials. If you want to be using one of the apps that you currently are not, definitely click on the referral links down in the description box. You get a welcome bonus when you use my referral link and I get a little kickback and I thank you very much. Uh, so I love that we both get to win. All right, so I have not done a dedicated video about uh, the changes with Ibotta because there's been a lot of changes uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, we just had a grandbaby. I'm gonna pop the cutest picture up on the screen. Grayson got newborn pictures done. Oh my goodness, my sweet little Violet. Oh, so uh, it's been a busy time. And number two, there's been a lot going around uh, on social media about Ibotta and um, I know the changes, all changes are scary. We never deal with changes usually very good. And I did not want to add to the already negativeness of what's happening. I, it doesn't mean that I don't, that I like the changes, but you already know, like I have a choice on what kind of content I get to bring you, which is awesome. You have a choice on who you get to watch, right? Which is awesome. And I just made a decision a long time ago that I was just not going to be that person that was complaining or maybe putting out scare tactics or, or things like that. So I don't love the changes with Ibotta, but they are continually making updates. So it's a little bit better than it was, but I haven't said this in forever and uh, I need to get back to saying it. I am not going to waste my time or energy focusing on what I don't have, which is what most people do. Instead, I'm going to be so grateful for everything that I do have. Gratitude has changed my life. I am constantly grateful for every little thing I can think of. When I hear my children laugh, I am grateful because it's such a magical sound. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful for the things that a lot of people just take for granted. I have my eyesight. I have legs that work and walk me to wherever I want to go. I have a roof over my head. I have clean drinking water. I am so grateful for so many things that I just cannot be bothered at this point in my life to focus on things that I don't have and that I can't control. I'm too busy being grateful. So I invite you to find something that you are super duper grateful for today. Couponing evolves constantly, constantly. And we have had a lot of changes this year. It's going to continue to change. It's going to continue evolving and we will figure it out and we will roll with it. We're still gonna get deals. We're still gonna save money. Maybe the deals look different than they used to. Maybe we're not gonna have freebie hauls all the time, but we're still gonna save on things that we would normally be buying anyways. You know, maybe our shopping habits change. Maybe we stop doing Ibotta hauls. I don't know how it all looks, but it's constantly evolving and I'm so grateful that I have Ibotta, that I have My Points, that I have Brand Club, that I have uh, Shopkick, that I have the drugstore couponing. 
that I have the coupons app that we get free coupons from. Like I'm so grateful for so many things. So I hope you can join me in finding some brightness and some sunshine in your day today because the sunshine is out and it's shining. All right, we're gonna stop at Walgreens first to do a deal and then we're gonna run into Walmart. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Friday. All right, we're gonna start this off at the Walgreens and do a quick transaction over here. I still have my digital spend booster of spend 20 earn five that I hadn't used yet. Thank you so much to Bridget who sent me a message over on Instagram and let me know about a possible hidden little bonus on fetch that I was not aware of. Um, I It might be expired, so I'm gonna try it, but I'm grabbing one of the body wash, the Axe body wash at $5.49. And then I'm gonna grab one of the body sprays at $7.99. Now this, the body spray is on promotion for buy three earn back $5 in Walgreens cash. I'm not gonna do that deal. I'm just grabbing these two. Both are listed at buy one, get one half price, but I don't know if they're separate buy one, get one half price promotions. So I'm gonna do it both ways. I'm just gonna account for it. But I'm gonna use this buy one Axe product. You can buy several different ones and get the body spray for free. So that's gonna take off $7.99. She had bonuses pop up on Fetch when she scanned her receipt for $1 back when she bought two of the body sprays and $5 back when she bought two of the body wash. But when she sent me pictures, the expiration dates have already passed. So like I said, I don't know if these are still going. I'm gonna scan my receipt and see if it tracks. But in the meantime, we do have Shopkick rebates on both of these products. So between scanning in the store and purchasing $2.48 back for the body spray and $2.48 back for the body wash. Now, assuming they don't bring up buy one, get one 50% off, I would just pay the $5.49 for the body wash, get back $4.96 from Shopkick, it would make both of them 53 cents. Now, just in case you wanna complete the promotion of buy three, earn back $5 in Walgreens cash, and you're wanting to use two of the buy one, get one free Unilever coupons, they won't work. The Walgreens system will not take two in one transaction. This has been an issue well before Walgreens made any changes. It's just one of those things that when you know better, you can do better. And Unilever coupons can just sometimes be tricky. Even though the coupon says you can use two, their system will reject the second one. That's why I'm not bothering with the buy three, get the $5 in Walgreens cash promotion. Okay, super hot shop cake deal on the Aspa Cream Flexi Motion. My store does not, there's two separate um, shop cake rebates. My store does not carry the knee one. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one. Any one of those three would qualify for this rebate. So they're $18.99. We have a $5 store IVC coupon. Clip it digitally or have the cashier scan the book. I also have a $5 digital coupon. That'll drop me down to $8.99 for this. I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $2 and a rebate back. And then I'm gonna submit to Shopkick for $10. Makes it free plus a 301 money maker. All right, we're gonna move on to some Tide. Uh, the 12.99 ones have been on coded wrong all month long. I did this deal, I don't know, a little while ago, a couple weeks ago. They're coded for the ones that are on sale for 13.99, where you get a three dollar register reward. But this week they are also on promotion for buy one earn back a two dollar register reward. So if I get both. I do have a $2 digital coupon. It will drop this down to $5.99. All right, I definitely wanna use Walgreens cash on this deal. So I need to make sure that I get my total up to $40 so that I can use $20 in Walgreens cash and still get my digital spend booster. And I'm not sure if that Axe Body Wash is gonna ring up at half price or not. So just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of the Crunch Bars that are on sale for $1 this week because we do have 25 cent Ibotta rebates for these. So if my Axe Body Wash rings up at half price, I have $45.71 in product, 
but then $5 is going to come off for the store IVC and no store discount counts towards any spend requirements. So that'll drop me down to 40, 71. I'll be able to use $20 in Walgreens cash, get a low out of pocket and earn back my Walgreens cash and all my other rewards. And I also have a 10 cent any receipt scan. So this will give me three Ibotta bonuses. No, three Ibotta rebates towards my bonus. Let's head to Walmart. All right, we're in Walmart, getting ready to finish out our weekend warrior. I'm over here in the oral care, the Nateen toothpaste. It's $5.97. I'm gonna grab the freebie. I've missed it every time we've had it, but that's all right. I'm grabbing it this time. So I'll pay $5.97 at the register, submit to Ibotta for $5.97 back, making it totally free. All right, next up we're gonna do a Summer's Eve. I'm gonna go for the spray for $2.98. I'll pay that at the register. I have a dollar rebate on Ibotta. And then I have a Brand Club survey for $1.25. It says learn right now, because I don't have any purchase history. Once I sync my receipts, then I'll have purchase history. I'll be able to fill out the uh, survey because it takes like four days for brand club, club brand club to credit it's going to drop that down to 73 cents all right next i'm going to go for the biotin uh the small one is priced at three dollars and 58 cents so i'm going to grab that oh I'm dropping stuff i don't know where that came from uh i'll pay that at the register I'm going to submit to Ibotta for a $2.50 rebate back, and then I'm going to submit to the coupons app for a $1.50 coupon reimbursement. Makes that like a $0.42 cent money maker. All right, I'm over in the Vita Fusions again. Man, we've been able to really stock up on these babies. I'm going to grab this $5.98 multivitamin, and then I'm going to grab this $7.98. So that's going to be just under $14. I'll submit to Ibotta for $2 back on each. And then I have a dollar bonus when I complete two. Oh, sorry. Then I'm going to submit over to my points for $4 back for buying two. You can do my points, swag books, ta-da, or inbox. And I have two $5 surveys on Brand Club. So these are going to be just over a $5 money maker. All right, now we are back over in the oral care aisle again. Uh, the kids' spin brushes. I'm going to grab the Paw Patrol. EJ might like this when he gets just a little older. For $5.72, I have a rebate on I bought it for $2 back. Then I have a $5 survey on Brands Club. So it's going to make it uh, $1.28 moneymaker, I think. All right, now we're over by the Vaseline lotion and I'm gonna go ahead and do the shot cake deal. I'm actually gonna do this on a separate receipt because I am using paper coupons. Even though this is an Ibotta rebate, I'm just not gonna chance it. So I'm grabbing one of the cocoa for $3.98, one of the green, no, the yellow ones, the essential healing for $3.98. This one scanned for the skin kicks on shop cake just fine. This one did not. So I had to scan this one. So here they are right here. And I'm gonna use two $2 coupons from our Unilever insert. Uh, so I'll pay just under $4 for these. I'll get $1.70 back on Shopkick for this one, $1.70 back on Shopkick for this one. It would make these about 56 cents for both but I have a $1.50 survey on Brand Club and a $1.25 survey on Brand Club. So it's gonna be a nice little money maker. All right, Donna likes to put these in her backpack. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this stub deodorant for $1.97. We have a rebate over on Shopkick for $2.04. Back between scan kicks and purchase kicks, you will have to scan the larger size, but it's gonna make it a little freebie, so I'm gonna grab it. And then I did grab the Suave uh, Shampoo, two forty eight in my store. Uh, there's a dollar rebate back on Ibotta and a dollar forty four on Shopkick. Makes this four cents. All right, household date that I was going to buy anyways in my grocery shopping so saves me a little bit of money. We're almost out of ketchup, and we like the Heinz, so I'm going to grab this. I'll pay three eighty four. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar rebate back. Drops that down to two eighty four. All right, next I'm gonna go for some of the hefty bags. Uh, I'm gonna go for two of them that are $2.78. 
So this one, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for storage bags. Uh, I have a coupon reimbursement on the coupons app for $2 back when you buy two. I have a rebate on Ibotta for um, $2 back when you buy two. And then I think I have a brand club survey, so let me check, I'll be right back. All right, so these would be five fifty six after my coupons app reimbursement. I actually have a dollar fifty on two on I bought it, not two dollars, and I do have one fifty cent survey on Brand Club, so it's going to make these like a dollar seventy six for both or something like that. I'll pop the right map up on the screen. Pretty good deal. All right, I'm going to do the draft laundry stain remover again. It's three ninety seven. I'll pay that at the register. I'll submit to Ibotta for a dollar rebate back, submit to the coupons app for a dollar coupon reimbursement back, and then I have a $2.25 survey over on Brand Club. So it makes it like a 28 cent money maker. All right, this is not the best deal we've ever got on all before, but I am almost out and my mom actually likes this. Uh, and I have double attaching rebates. So these are $3.47. I have two 50 cent rebates. So it's gonna give me two rebates towards my bonuses. So I'll take that. So that'll drop that down to $2.47 for this. All right, I've got another double attaching rebate on the Chobani Zero Sugar. Uh, I have $1.22 back for buying two and 75 cents back for buying two. So I guess I'm gonna buy two. Blueberry and vanilla. So that'll end up costing me like uh, 40 some cents for both of these. All right, so with my Wal Walgreens, three rebates that I got at Walgreens, and this, uh, plus I'm gonna do a gift card purchase because that counts as a rebate redeemed even though I don't need it, um, but I'll need it for my fall bonus. So let's head to the kitchen table and go over my final cost. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this week's rebate haul. I started off at Walgreens and then I finished everything up at Walmart. Both of those stores are like super close together because normally I won't go to two stores in one day, um, but they're literally two minutes down the road from each other and I hadn't used my spend 20 earn five yet. And with the Shopkick rebates that popped up for a couple of things, I thought, let me go grab some good things and get some laundry detergent. So let's go over my um, Walgreens real quick. Oh, I had a little thing happen, which actually worked out to my benefit, but <laughs> it cost me five minutes of my time. Um, so I did the first transaction. You see two. Um because I got the extra X products. But anyways, I did the X body wash, the X body spray, the Flexi Motion, the Tide, and the three crunch bars. So there they are. There's my Tide. Um, there's my X spray, my X body wash. It did not ring up as the buy one, get one 50% off. So those must be on two separate buy one, get one 50% off deals. There's my Aspa Cream with my $5 store IVC. My one paper coupon took off the $7.99 for the spray. I had the $5 digital coupon for the aspirin cream and the $2 digital coupon for the Tide. So my subtotal was $28.47. I added those just in case that body wash did ring up at the half price. I wasn't positive. Um, so that was an extra $3 onto my total basically because it would have been well, it would have been like two seventy nine dollars or something if it would have ring up for half price. But that's okay. I, I wanted to make sure I met my spend requirement. So $28.47 was my subtotal. I did go ahead and redeem uh, $20 in Walgreens cash. And I earned back $5.23 in Walgreens cash. And then the Catalina machine gave me a spend booster. Uh, I got a $10 coupon for Neutrogena. And I got a $3 register reward. I did not get the $2 register reward. Now, like I said, that deal's been coded wrong all month long. Where it's just been giving back the $3 register reward every single week. I already did that. But this week, it's supposed to be coded for get a $2 register reward. And I know some people have been getting both. I did not. Maybe the Oxy 
in the Tide Pods is not coded correctly on the weekly deal, but it's miscoded on the monthly deal. Who knows? But here's what happened. My transaction went through and my dang receipt jammed and no receipt printed. And it was a new cashier and I was like, I have to have my receipt. And so she calls the manager up and she was super great. And um, I said, my receipt jammed, but I need a printed receipt. Is there a way to print it? He, he's fine. He just doesn't talk a lot. And he goes, just a minute. And he walks into the back. He was in the back for five minutes. I was like, what the heck is happening? And he comes back up with a like computer printed receipt on a piece of eight by 10 paper, which was so nice of him to go through that and do that for me. But I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, but I need actual printed receipt from your receipt printer. I can't use this. And he was like, well, this is all I can do. And I said, well, can we please just post void the transaction and we'll re-ring it up? And he goes, sure. So, I mean, he was nice and that was super nice of him to try to help me, but I wish he would have told me what he was doing because <laughs> I could have saved us both five minutes. So he had to post void it. They only have a limited window of time where they can post void a transaction. And basically it's like it never happened. All your coupons go back on. We re-rang it up. She had unjammed the machine by this point. And then you just saw the receipt that printed. But what happened was, I got myself another $3 register reward. So, you know, most people are getting a $3 on the $2. I ended up getting $3 for my five minutes of waiting. So anyways, I went out to my car and I scanned my receipt to fetch rewards and a bonus did pop up for me. So it was not on my discovery page. It will not be on your discovery page until you scan your receipt for the body wash only. I didn't have anything. So that one must've expired for the body spray. And it, mine was buy two earn back $6. So then I ran back into the store. I grabbed another body wash and a body spray, used another coupon, $5.49. I just used $5 in Walgreens cash. I didn't get anything back from Walgreens, submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards and earned back my $6 for buying two of the body wash. So my Walgreens transaction, I paid $33.96, even though I just mainly used all store money. But I paid $33.96, I earned back $5.23 in Walgreens cash, $6 register reward, submitted to Shopkick for the, the Aspa Cream, the two Axe products, and then the other two Axe products on my husband's Shopkick for a total of $16.35 back. I submitted to Ibotta for to a total of $2.85 back and then submitted to Fetch Rewards for $6.13 back. So I earned $36.59 from Walgreens, Paid $33.96. I got all these products free, plus a $263 moneymaker, which I think is a fantastic. I got laundry for free, and I got three little treat bars. So that was awesome. All right, then I went over to Walmart to finish out my transactions. I told you I was going to do the Vaseline by itself since I was using coupons, even though I didn't have Ibotta rebates for this. I just didn't want to use any coupons at Walmart and have it reject my receipt, even if it was on a different item. So I just, I don't know that that would have happened. I just kept it separate. So there's my two Vaseline and my Dove for $5.93. And then here's my other receipt. I had no coupons. I paid $53.96. So now let's talk about, I ended up between Walmart, I gotta get my paper, Walmart and Walgreens grabbing $116 in product. Uh, after the coupons I used at Walgreens, I actually paid for everything $93.85. I got back from Ibotta $2.85 from Walgreens, $22.94 from Walmart, and hit my $5 weekend warrior bonus. Uh, I submitted my receipt to my points for the Vita Fusions. Oh, this one fell. I just noticed that. Let's pick that up. And I got back the $4.08 immediately, submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards over here, got back $6.13, submitted to the coupons app for $4.50 in coupon reimbursements. And then between my husband's and my Shopkick, a total of $27.30 back. 
between Walgreens and Walmart. That was huge. And then on Brand Club, I'll pop a little video up on the screen. I synced my receipt. It picked up my hefty, my draft, um, my Arm & Hammer spin brush. It picked up the all, the Vita Fusions, the Heinz, the Suave, the Summer's Eve, the other Vita Fusions, the Vaseline, the Dove, and the Vaseline. So it picked up everything. Now, a lot of the items I don't have available surveys to take, but I'll still earn a few cents here or there because they are partnering brands. But surveys that I do have available to take or have taken are two $5 surveys on the Vita Fusions. That's why I got two different ones because if you buy the same guard code, you will only get one survey back per transaction. Uh, 50 cents back for the Hefty, $1.25 for the Summer's Eve, $1.50 for the Vaseline, $1.25 for the Vaseline, and then $5 for the Spin Brush. So a total of $19.50 coming back from uh, Brand Club. So I earned back $103.53 where I paid $93.85. It was all free plus a $9.68 money maker. I think that is so, so awesome. So even with using no paper coupons for my Ibotta uh, receipt at Walmart, I still was able to get almost $10 money maker today. That was fantastic. So there you go. I hope you enjoy your weekend. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much, and I'm going to see you again soon.